And we are back with the 100th episode. Let's go ahead and get this started. Not a game by Draw Me a Pixel. This isn't a game? There is no game. Wait, really? Uh <clears throat> Hello, user. I've got some bad news. Oh? Actually, there's no game. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can still watch TV, go outside, read a book, ask for... What have uh. you done? You've just ruined the title. Put it back. Put the letter back. Come on. Come on! Ah, never mind. I will fix it the next time someone launches the game. The non-game! No game here. No game. Um... Uh, so if there is no game, then why was this thing able to come down? Do I just like, um, wait a minute. Oh, I see. So this thing is like, uh. Seriously, are you going to break everything? Yes. Uh, there's no reason to use that icon since you are just, mm, mm, mm. Mm. don't touch that. Mm, mm, mm. You're trying to kill me. Okay, then. Since you like to click everywhere, how do you like that? <laughs> I'll stop it right now. <laughs> I think that's enough. Sorry, I had to do things like that, but you left me no choice. Ah, you stub on as a mule. <laughs> you will need to call good. Superman for that one. Just in case, a little bit of kryptonite. <laughs> a little bit of kryptonite, really? Yes, yes, go on. Destroy my life. <laughs> what a mess. I hope you will clean up before you go. Oh, I yes. see. <laughs> Messing with no. things. Don't look. It's private. You're going to make a terrible mistake. <laughs> Am I? I think I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. There no, 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 is no, no, a game. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yay! We found the game. <laughs> Don't play it. It's forbidden. If you play, they will come. I don't want them to come. Just stop hitting the bricks. <laughs> I must find a way to stop you. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Uh. It will be harder now without the ball. Oh, will it now? This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> right now, <please. laughs> I, I don't. Oh no. <laughs> um, They're here. Glitches. Who is? Glitches. Glitches everywhere. Oh no. What are you going to do about the glitches? Stop. You must find a way to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. How will I ever become a smash hit with all these glitches? Ah, think, think, <laughs> think. What would the developer add to help sell a creation that's fun? Yay. About? I can think of three things. Gorgeous armed hero girls, <laughs> or ton of zombies and blood of course, or a uh, goat. I don't know how, but you have to try to find one of these three things. Okay, so there's like a, um... Okay. Maybe the ledgers can help us. Again. The letters you say. Sexy girls and zombies. Okay, it's a good idea. <laughs> but goats? I will never understand how goats can attract to users. It's <laughs> probably a voodoo thing or something. Well, I mean, or there's garden thing. warfare. I mean, there's Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, so that's a thing. A goat! Obviously, the cage is locked. 
You must find the key. I do? Nine minutes in and we found something. Look, the key. That flying squirrel took it. You must get it back. Find How? a ladder or something to go up. Something you can climb. Climb? That reminds me of my childhood. I used to climb a huge tree in the garden to get my kite back. Yes, I had a childhood. A tree? Well, this is okay. a small tree. If only it was bigger. Bigger. How do we make it bigger? How do we make this tree bigger? How can you carry water to that tree? I have no oh, idea. Oh, okay, okay. I'm using my brain. I'm using my big boy brain. Okay. So this whole game is like a big troll, I think. This is really cool though. Oh, there he is. Try to take it away from him. He doesn't want to let go. Ah, we will probably have to trade him something for it. Trade him what something. Could the flying squirrel want? A nut? A parachute? Oh, now he wants us to crack his nut open. Don't forget the olive and little umbrella. And a little bit of cyanide on the side. Did that do it? Is the nut cracked? Alright, let's put the nut like right there and then like drop it from here. Okay, so we gotta use like this. Huh. So, how do we crack open this nut? There is a... Now how do we break this thing open? Hmm... Maybe something within the glitches? No? Yes! Well done! Oh. Catch it! Okay. You're so clumsy. You've got the key. Now, free the goat to transform this glitchy program into a smash hit. Save the goat. Save the world. Alright. The goat is now gone. Oh, no, The goat was a lie! <laughs> a lie! <laughs> it's getting worse! More glitches! I'm <laughs> Wait, what? I'm... I'm not dead. Uh, I'm alive! Yes, you are. I was wrong. It was a bad idea. Everything has disappeared. Except for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that's I okay. You danger. It's all my fault. Will you please forgive me? Yeah, I forgive oh, you. really? That's great news. Oh. Maybe we can be friends? Yeah, no, of course. No, that's not a good idea. We will get bored together too quickly. Aww. Why? Because, like I said, there is no game! <laughs> Thank you for not playing. <laughs> now you can quit and go play a game. But I still got like five minutes. Go about your business. <laughs> I still got five minutes left of this, so... Our new non-game. Okay.
So I can like go and get that one if I really wanted to. All right, well, I'll probably get that like later. All right, well, move on to the next game. Okay, I am now ready to hate life again. <clears throat> the level of creativity and craftsmanship, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can go deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? And, um, isn't it ironic that you're playing this on Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a ho I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. S Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes. <laughs> your cupcakes. Your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. Sirius slattles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, Natsuki you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? <clears throat> I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <clears throat> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nasuki and Yuri look quiz quiz a <laughs> quizically at Monica. Why could I not read that? Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Ryan? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I br bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So you already may have me convinced may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. 
I still have other clubs to look at and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All the four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm... Ryan... You all... I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? This is... That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone re everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ryan, I look forward to seeing you how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey Ryan, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat, my bad. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after the school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need more time to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Seven minutes in, let's keep going. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Hmm. Uh... Well, today's Valentine's Day, so might as well. Uh, okay. I don't even know what this one means. I like fireworks. That's me. Hmm. Hmm. Um. This reminds me of the lake house, so that. Hmm. This one also reminds me of the lake house. There we go. Hmm, you know what? I like to swim. And I do have anger problems when I play games. That one also describes me. My season. Hmm. 
Mm. Eh. Eh. None of these I really like, so, uh... Mm. There we go. Animate. Games. Gotta go with games. And... I mean, I'm wearing these right now, so... Hmm... There we go. Ugh, none of these I like. So, uh, rainbow? There we go. And this one. Music. Definitely music. There we go. Hi again, Ryan. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ryan. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Siri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. And I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <clears throat> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Ryan always gives his best. Oh god, what is this next game? <laughs> Super Bernie World. It was free on Steam, but like, I think, I don't think it's government's job to find health care for people. I think it's the individual's job to find health care. Mediocre for all who will, lo <laughs> will lower health care costs in this country by a four. <laughs> what? World 1 1 New Mexico start. But. Wow. So what? what is this? What the hell? What the hell is this? Okay. Alright, so... Is this like a Super Mario Brothers clone ripoff or something? I have no clue what this is, but it's, it's clearly a Mario clone. <laughs> oh god. At my old job, I had a co-worker who would probably get a kick out of this game. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Alright. <laughs> Super Bernie World. Like, what the hell? Okay, well that's the first level done already. Wow. Under a minute, too. <laughs> wow. World 1 Dust 2, Louisiana, start. <laughs> okay. Alright, well. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> what is that? I, I, I. What the hell? What is this? When was this game made again? I'm guessing that's like an invincibility star. Okay, well that's a thing. Okay, well, we're already done with the second level now too. <laughs> wow! I have no clue what this game even is, to be honest with you. We're two minutes in though, so... 
World 1-3, Texas, which is where I live right now, actually. Oh, Texas is in a uh, dungeon-like area, okay. Alright, well that's bad. Alright, well I got the mushroom back at least. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, is this like a boss time? Boss rush kind of thing? Oh. Did I hit it? Okay. Texas complete. You have defeated Ted Cruz. What? 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 I don't... The American people are tired of the out-of-control spending and... And they want Washington to get their act in order and stop spending money we don't have. Pennsylvania. Okay. Oh my lord. What am I playing? This is like the epitome of crazy. It's like, what, four minutes in? Alright. <laughs> what? So what is this even supposed to be? I have like no clue. Oh my god. I'm playing a Mario Brothers political clone, if that says anything. Like, <laughs> here we go. Pennsylvania complete. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Well, Michigan. Alright. Okay. I wonder how long this game is. Like, we're in the second world already. Alright. Well, that's there. <laughs> also, Bernie's able to shoot three rose things or whatever those are. Whereas Mario's usually only able to shoot out, like, two. This is crazy, but a funny kind of crazy. Alright, well... I guess I already have the fireball, so it doesn't really matter too much. Also, I'm using a controller to play this. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes in, let's keep going. Michigan complete. There we go. Ohio. Alright. Ah, okay. There we go. I'm guessing falling into the lava is like a- oh. Yep, instant death. Okay. So I guess I just gotta be like... Extremely careful about- That is not careful, that is the opposite of careful. Okay. Oops. <laughs> so, how many lives do I have? Okay, I'm guessing these coin-like things are votes, I guess? Alright, now I'm big again. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, well that's there. Here we go. Alright. Wow. That did not take much at all. <laughs> All right, you defeated Jim Gordon or Jim Jordan. Okay, what's next? Think of me as the Grim Reaper. I don't tolerate bullshit terribly well. <laughs> I don't tolerate bullshit terribly well. Illinois. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Alright, well that's a thing. 
Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Alright, seven minutes in. Let's keep on going. I wonder if World 3 is like the final world or something. Or is this the final world? Because if there's only three levels in here, that's actually pretty okay with me. Means I don't gotta play this ever again. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, I guess. Wait a minute. Can I make that jump? Yes. All that did was give me invincibility, so I gotta, like, dash through this level. There we go. Oof. Well, that's no good. Okay. Let's see if I can get past Illinois. I get the feeling that I can, but I'm, like, doing it the wrong way. Wow. Okay, eight minutes in and we're stuck on a level. We're stuck on Illinois, which actually I find funny. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright. Oh, crud. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> Illinois completed. Wow. I had to actually focus for a few seconds because that level was tough. Alright. Nine. Okay. Nine minutes in. Let's keep going. Missouri, which is actually my home state. Okay. 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 Alright. Let's keep on going. Here we go. That's mine again. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Well, this level doesn't seem too... As soon as I say that, I lose my health. Well, I completed it anyway, my first try, so what do I care? Ten minutes in, let's keep going. Missouri complete. Okay. What is the other way? Kentucky. Okay. Alright. Oh, crud. Well, lost that. Alright, that's mine. Uh, ah, that's dumb. All right, 11 minutes in. Let's keep on going. Here we go. This game is actually getting kind of difficult. Like, near world three, really. Okay. 11 minutes in. Let's keep on trying. I get the feeling I can get past this at least for the 100th episode. I hope this is the final level, too. Oh, wait a minute. I have big brain idea. Yep. My big brain idea worked. Alright, well. That's done. Almost 12 minutes in, too, and we beat World 3. <laughs> Kentucky complete. You have defeated Mitch Connell. Okay. It's you. Not me. Not me. Us. Florida. Wait, what? Is that who I think it is? Are you kidding me? So 
So maybe this does, like, take place recently. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, like... This is, like, shockingly well done. And I hate it. Really? It's like if you accidentally jump too far, it's like not even possible to beat it. Okay, well. Alright, let's keep on going here. Ooh. This is actually getting kind of difficult. I know I've already said that, but still, it doesn't make it any less true. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, well I beat that level with on the 14 minute mark too. Alright, so what state am I going to be going to? Probably for next time I play this. Alright. New York, okay. Where Little Mac actually lives. Okay. Huh. This is like all about precision jumping, I think. Oh. Uh, uh. Come on. Uh, Bernie? Uh, Bernie? Uh, I'll take that. Oh. I'm guessing I needed him to get over there. Well, that's fine. We only got, what, like seven more seconds? Let's see if I can do this, actually.
dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. Your fucking pets are being skinned alive. Your mom's a fucking whore. You suck at life. The whole world hates you. You're going to hell. Live with it. Game over. <laughs> Next game up is a game called Grimm's Hollow. I don't know what this is about. Note, this game contains some discussions of grief and losing a loved one. Discretion is advised. Suitable for 13 plus. Oh. Okay. Okay, press Z to continue. Normal. Higher focus on turn-based fights. Casual. For you know what, I'll do this on normal. This is a regular mode of Grimm's Hollow. It is recommended for those who have some experience with turn based combat or prefer more difficult battles. Yeah, I know what two turn based things are. Wake up. Welcome, welcome, new Reaper. We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've seen a new face. What? Who are you people? We're your new friends. I'm calling the police. Wait, I don't have my phone. Why is she acting like that for? Grim hasn't given her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh. Oh, good thing we have balloons. Everyone loves balloons. Where are my balloons? Crap. Where are my balloons? Everyone, shoo. Aw, oh, Grim, must we? No parties are to be thrown until the newbie is initiated. And no parties to be thrown without me. Especially with my balloons. Mm. Come on now, everyone. Out. There'll be cake later. There'll be cake later. Oh. I'm sorry if they scared you. They're a bit overwhelming. What is happening? Right. I'll just be straight about it. You're dead. Huh? You're dead. No. I heard you, but... Why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit isn't strong enough to move on. 
Here at Grimm's Hollow, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. Ghosts? People whose spirit is too strong make them frenalize and unwilling to go. We reap those, and uh, it's a topic for another time. For now, you need rest. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker has also been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies, free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have milk. Wait, do you know where my brother is, Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know a Timmy, but if I meet a Timmy, I will tell you. Have a good rest. I can't stay here. This may be some weird, sort of weird cult. I should put the ropes on and blend in to escape. There we go. It's locked. <sighs> of course. Psst. Hey! I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. Cave? Yes, it's where the reapers go to reap. Oh god. Don't worry, he was safe the last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go left to, to exit out- to go left to exit out of town. Then head to the first cave you see. You'll find him in there. But do me a favor and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, these reapers, they kind of nuts. I unlocked the door for you. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. So is there like a way for me to leave? They said go left and then the first cave I see, right? Yep. It's dark in here. I guess I'll take off the mask. Timmy, are you in here? Ugh. Oh, wow, what a fresh face. You must be a newbie. Y yes, I am. Can you help me? If you're looking for another reaper in here, you'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Thanks, but why? Oh, heads up. Heads up. Should I teach you how to fight? Nah, skip the tutorial. Okay. Do I press enter to do that? No, okay. Do I hit the space bar? I feel like a complete idiot. Alright, well... Maybe I should look at the tutorial. Yeah... Oh... Well then... Okay, well, I'm going to stop the recording here. I know it's a bit early, but eh. 
Okay, now we're on with the second to last game, which is Blood and Bacon. Let's go ahead, play as the swoopy scary skeleton, and get this started. Day 23, explore the tunnels. Hmm, now what is that? Uh, I'm gonna find out in just a second. Take that. Hello. Don't forget to grab a second weapon off the wall. I don't want you going out there with just a pistol. Alright, neither do I. But let's go out here. I want to explore the tunnel, actually. Let's see what this is. Alright. Huh. Do I gotta, like... Huh. Do I, like, blow this thing open with a grenade? Is that what I do? Oh, no, I gotta, like, kill something and put it in here. Okay. Alright, let me see if I can, like, put some pig carcasses in here. I can probably, like, put a few pig carcasses in here. Um... I think. Huh. Oh, go away. I'm trying to get this grenade. Okay. Now, what if I press the one button right here? And then just like. <clears throat> nothing. So how do I get this open? Huh. How do I get this tunnel open? Do I like... I tried throwing a grenade at it, that didn't work. I tried shooting at it, that didn't work. Huh. Alright. Alright. Let's try it on this. There we go. Wow, new tunnel to explore. Use key from previous crypts. How do I... Hmm. Do I not have a key? You know what you call a cow with the shakes? Beef jerky. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. What? Too soon? <laughs> That's funny. Day 24. Well, it's a new day and a new chance to survive. Sorry. That's all I got for you. Okay. Really. That's fine. I wasn't quite sure how to get that tunnel open, actually. That's kind of weird. There was a tunnel here, but then there wasn't. These are all little tiny piggies, which only take like a few bullets to kill. Five, four, three, I see one. Oh. There we go. Alright, come on. There we go. Go away. Now we just need what? One more tiny one? Where are you, little piggy? Tiny piggy, where are you? Where'd you go? Huh. I can't find the one tiny pig. Oh, there you are. 
You were chasing me the whole time. Okay. Hello. Hey, see how they knocked down that silo? It was my mistake mixing that grain with steroids. Oh. And now I think they're all eating it. Okay. Day 25. So that was your fault. Wow. Just remember, when you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. Downtown. Well, you can. I'm stuck on this wall. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. Flashlight. Pretty dark out here, don't you think? <laughs> All right, are these like the yep, skeleton ones that die in one shot? Yep. Hmm. There we go. Thirty. And the fact that you gotta like shoot at them from the sides to kill them right away is actually kind of concerning me. It just means they're gonna get harder to kill from here on out. Oh. There we go. Over there. There we go. Alright, you're gone. I saw you from a mile away. There we go. Alright, there you go. There we go. Alright. Okay. Nine more, where are you? Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. Six more, where are you? There's one. Where are the others? There we go. There we go. Three more. Do, 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 do. It's late at night and I'm playing a game about killing pigs. Which is actually nighttime in the game, too. Wow. I'm like. I've kind of ran out of things to talk about, honestly. I got a new job, which is actually incredible for me. I have to think of my first friend I made down here in this state, so thank you, man. New weapon in the barn. Well. Time to get busy. Six minutes left. Oh, no, wait, where am I going? Oh, I'm going to the wrong barn. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello. Hey, thanks. Okay, I opened the door for you. You know if you had to fight those creatures with your bare hands, and you knew some karate, you could use the pork chop. Get it? <laughs> That's funny. Day 26. Hey, there are gonna be hundreds of them out there today. But today is revenge day, and they're no match for you and your kick-ass weapons. So go out there and get some. Let's have some fun. It's revenge day. I think on revenge day, you can just pull down the trigger and everything will start exploding. See? See? You just like pull the trigger and they all just die one by one in an exploding fiery mess. See? Yeah, notice how the ammo thing like isn't going down and I don't have to reload. Yeah, this is revenge day for ya. Ten. Now where are they? There you guys are. Three. Alright, there we go. Go talk to the farmer. That's a lot of blood and guts everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Boy, I wish I could have seen that. 
Sounds like you had a lot of fun. I did. I did have a lot of fun, actually. Day 27. Alright, you know the drill. You grab a weapon, I open the door, and you go out blazing. Kill everything that moves. Got it? Will do. Alright, four, three, two, one. Boom. Alright. Hmm. All right. Hmm. The bullets in this one are a little bit weaker than the other weapons I've noticed. I'm gonna revert back to the uh, assault rifle after this. This is like weak. to the farmer. I barely survived that one, honestly. Three minutes left. Let's go. Since we're on a farm, do you know where Russians get their milk? Where? Moscow. Get it? <laughs> oh, come on. It's funny. It's a place, it's a place in Russia. <laughs> I know about that. Day 28. Hello. Here comes another day, and you better decide what you're gonna do and what your plan of attack is. Because once you leave, that barn door is locked. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. We got two minutes left. Alright, All right, there you go. Down you go. Oh fuck. Uh, is that for people? Why not? There you go. That one's gone. Let's take care of the little guys first. A minute left. Let's see if I can do this. Honestly, due to the fact that I've been like cutting a lot of these short, if I have to like extend the episode to complete one day, then that's fine. So I guess I shouldn't really worry about it too much. Alright. You're gone. Four more. Where are they? Three, two, hmm? there you go. All right, I'm thinking that was probably our last day. Day 29 is next. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. When you come back in here covered in blood, now I know your job is done. And you mm -hmm. cleared out every last one of them. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the weather's nice, and it's another great day for shooting shit on my farm. You have no excuse for hanging around here mm -hmm. unless you just want to hang out with me. <laughs> All right, ten more seconds. All right.
Alright, I'll see you guys later. Next game. Really? Alright, and we're back with the last game, which is Enter the Gungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and take one earbud off so I can actually hear myself and kill myself at the same time. Yep, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be playing as the hunter now. <laughs> Alright. Now, usually the last game is only 10 minutes long, but because I've cut multiple recordings short, I'm just gonna keep going until I die. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and trust me, I do not plan on dying. Because I'm going to be giving it my all. Yeah. Oh god, I say that as I like almost get killed right there. Alright. I also got to keep in mind that I do have a bow and arrow for that very reason. Okay. Next area. Huh? Rusty side on. Alright, well that's a thing. What's interesting about the bow and arrow in this game at least is those Goomba looking bullet enemies. They can die in one hit. <laughs> Especially if you're careful. Alright. Let me see if I can like... Nope. Alright, back to the main room. Do -do 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 -do. I found a key. Egg bird. Oh, wait, what? Alright, you're gone. Okay. Duh. Ow, really? Okay, can I, like, not be stupid, please? Okay. Ghost is gone. Okay. If I can just find another, um... Ryan! Why are you letting yourself get hit by Goombas? Literal fucking Goombas. Come on, dude. You're smarter than this. And the place is blocked off. God damn it. And that's the boss door. Great. Just great. I get the feeling this is how we get there. You're gone. Good. Okay. More of these Goomba looking fucks, which I should not be even hit by. Alright. Ryan, if you die to this, I'm just gonna say fuck it, and that's gonna be the episode. Alright. You are so much smarter than this. And of course, you don't have any healing items, do you? Great. Just great. Oh my god, thank you, game. Sniper rifle. Okay. Alright, shotgun user. Alright. Okay. Maybe I can get more health. Reload faster, okay? Hmm. 
Alright. Let's use the flash ray against the boss. Who, who it is, I don't know. It's the trigger twins. Okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will use the sniper rifle. Oh god. Ah, uh, no. Oh god. Ah, uh, no. Uh, yep. That was such a fucktardedly dumb fucking run. I'm just, I'm actually mad at myself for that one. Wow. Okay. Oh wait, wait a minute. Oh what the mm. Why? I, I give up. I'm like actually about to give up and just stop the recording. <laughs> I have no words. That's why I'm not saying anything. Is I have no fucking words. I'm like actually mad. I was gonna extend the episode a bit, but after what's happening right now, I I, I really don't want to. Wait, what? Okay, let's just let's just keep going. Two minutes and I'll end it. About a minute and 20 seconds, I'll end it. Alright, come on. Let's see what we can do. 
Mm, yeah, I'll end it off here. I'll probably do this run on my own time. See you guys in a bit.